ever wondered what an XYZ probe or standard probe for a CNC is used for and how to use it? Let's go through that now. G'day guys, Kieran here from KJH Woodworking and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to chat about what the use of a XYZ probe or a regular probe is for a CNC and how to set it up and use it correctly. The purpose of a probe for a CNC is to set your zero position for your machine in reference to your workpiece. A standard probe would only set your X height. The software and the machine know the distance from the top of your probe to your workpiece. So by sliding this in, setting it up correctly, in my case, my probe is five millimeters thick. So when setting my X, it would go, hey, I've touched the top of that. So I know, now know the workpiece is five millimeters away from this position. Let's set our zero position based on that. The difference between an XYZ probe and a regular probe is the XYZ probe has these positive references which can actually sit against a corner on your material. This allows you to get your X, Y, and Z axis zeroed out in reference to a corner of a piece of material. Let's go through how we set that up using our WorkB3 CNC from the Maker Store and CNCJS as our interface software. Let's jump on a computer. So first thing we need to do is set up another macro. If you've been following along, we have set up macros in the past to configure CNCJS in relation to our particular machine. Now we're gonna set one up to configure the XYZ probe. To do that, we're gonna jump over to the Maker Store website. We are going to click on resources up the top here, select assembly manuals. And then on the left-hand side, we have an XYZ touch probe reference. Now, if you haven't set up your XYZ probe in terms of wiring everything in, we do go through that in our build series. Otherwise you can refer to this entire manual, which will walk you through step by step. We are just gonna skip down straight to firstly, download your XYZ macro. So we're gonna click here and it is going to bring up a macro. All you're gonna do is copy this entire macro. So we're gonna select it all, control C, which is copy, go back into our interface software, which is CNCJS. Down the left-hand side, we are going to add a macro. The macro command is everything that we just copied across. We are going to name that X, Y, Z, probe. And all we're gonna do is hit okay, and we are gonna save that macro. So now you can see we've added that macro. While we're in the midst of configuring our touch probe, I also like to jump down here to the probe section. So the probe section in CNCJS is designed for a Z probe, not an XYZ probe. So that's why we have to set that macro up. The probe section I do use, and I do use that quite regularly, that is for when I'm just setting my Z axis, so my height, not my X and my Y. But I do like to make sure that that touch plate thickness is correct. I sort of go with a probe depth of 50 millimeters, a probe feed rate, I would say 50 is acceptable. Touch plate thickness of five and retraction distance of four millimeters. Basically means we are gonna go down 50 mil to touch the top of the plate at 50 millimeters per minute. Once we hit the plate, we know that's five millimeters off our top surface and then we're gonna lift back up four millimeters so we can get our plate out. That's what that all means. But now that we've got that set up, let's jump over the workpiece and show you how to actually use it. Okay, so on my plate, I have a little X, which is just above the circle here. That is the ideal location to position your bit above just to get it roughly right. You wanna be about five to 10 millimeters off the top of the plate, but all you're gonna do is sit the plate in position, take your alligator clamp and clamp that on to your bit. Then you wanna jump over to your computer and position that roughly in the right spot. I like to use my keyboard, so I will give keypad jogging a tick. I will set my distance to one millimeter. And now I can use my arrow keys to position that roughly where it needs to be. And then my page down to lower the X axis, sorry, the Z axis. I'll run back over, check we're roughly in the right spot. Whoops. We'll go up a couple. So now I'm relatively above the X. I'm just gonna lower it down a little bit. Then we are gonna go down to that probe, hit the play button on the XYZ probe, hit run. So now you can see that it's moving down with strangely shaped bits. I do like to grab the collet and spin it so the cutter is hitting square on. We'll do the same with this direction. Move it so the cutter is hitting square on. 
Okay, so now that we've run the probe, you'll be able to see that we are dead center of the corner reference that we were referencing off. You can see there, we are dead center. We're about 13 millimeters higher. And if you go around this way, again, dead center. So we now know that our 000 point is the top reference edge of that corner. Let's go ahead and run this G code for this serving tray. Then we'll show you how to use the probe function of CNCJS, which just repositions the height of the Z axis without altering the X and Y. Okay, so we have ran our first G code for this project. Now we want to reset. So I've changed the bit over to our cutting bit and we want to keep the X and Y axis the same as what was originally referenced. But now we have a new height because we've got a different size bit. What we're going to do is use the probe upside down and use the probe function within CNCJS rather than the macro. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so we've got our bit there. So we're going to take our probe instead of lipping this over the edge or which we can so we can lip this over the edge or we can put this down on flat hook on our alligator clip hook it on so it stays now we'll jump over to the computer so what we're going to do on the computer is, is scroll down in sans js this is the macro we ran before we're going to skip over that we are actually going to run the probe function that we set up earlier so we are going to hit probe run probe and that is going to lower our bit down onto our metal plate. And when it makes connection, it'll register that we've hit the plate back itself off four millimeters. And that will reset our Z's zero position, leaving our X and Y exactly the same. Perfect. Now we can get rid of our probe, hook up our dust collection and run the cut. Now that was a great way to kill two birds with one stone. I got to make a birthday gift for my wife as well as show you how I use my X, Y, and Z probe for the CNC. If you've got anything out of this video, I'd love you to smash that thumbs up button because it helps us know that this content suits you so we can make more of it for you. Now, if you've liked this video, I think you're gonna love what I've left on the screen for you now and I will catch you there. Cheers, guys.